Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Laurel Park Replay Show for Saturday, September 17th. It's going to be an action-packed half hour or so here for our replay show on Saturday because we have 11 races, huge fields, expect some close finishes, and people playing that late pick five with a $9,700 carryover. Remember, we have two pick fives now at Laurel Park, the early pick five with a mandatory payout and the late pick five with carryover potential, as was the case on Saturday afternoon. Both pick fives with that 12% industry low takeout. Fans really uh, going for that early pick five now. Here it starts in the first race on a Saturday afternoon at seven furlongs and a field of nine heavy on Toledo on the six. It's all about the bends. Let's watch the action from Saturday afternoon at Laurel Park. And they're off. Good break for the long shot. Budsworthy on the outside. And here's Burford. Burford to the front. Here's Breeze by you. And Sunboy on the outside as Budsworthy will settle deep out of the track in fourth. Then it's Data Mining racing in fifth. And Tomo Chachi is in sixth. Who stole my sock is seventh. It's all about the bends. And our Lucifer at the tail with five furlongs left to go. Up front, it is Breeze by you ahead in front from Burford on the inside, a length and a half more, and it is Sun Boy who's racing in third position and Data Mining travels in fourth. Tomo Chanchi is fifth and Who Stole My Sock in the second group as well. Buzzworthy still racing out wide. Five from the front is this long shot, another six back, and it's all about the bends and our Lucifer's last. Into the far turn where Burford has got that neck in front now from Breeze Bayou. Connors back on the outside. Length and a half more, and it is Sun Boy now trying to get going from third. And who stole my sock is right there, looming and making a three wide bid as well. Four of them line up at the top of the stretch, and they make the turn for home. It is Burford desperate to hold on to the lead. Who stole my sock now punching onto a narrow lead. Breeze by you in between horses. On the far outside is Sun Boy. They're coming through the final furlong. And it's Who Stole My Sock kicking away with a three length lead. As Sun Boy on the outside is second and Burford is backed off in third and Breeze by you. Who Stole My Sock come home uh, by six. A convincing winner. Who Stole My Sock. Sun Boy was second. Then it's Burford third. Followed by Breeze Bayou and our Lucifer. And they're off. Twisted Earl and Heavenly Hayes up on the inside with early foot. And there goes Heavenly Hayes and Fergal Lynch to the front from Twisted Earl second. Surf Spun is up close there. Racing in third position in between horses. Andy's Love is in fourth and the Forgotten One on the inside in fifth. They are followed by Henry Hayes on the far outside. Then Rumblin' Kyle third last and slide by you. And Lord Earl Gray is the last runner with five furlongs left to go. Heavenly Hayes has a neck in front from Twisted Earl prompting from second. Then Sir spun his third and Henry Hayes on the outside racing in fourth position and his love is in between horses the forgotten one still the inside there Rumlin Kyle had to steady out of the air has dropped back some eight lengths off the lead slide by you and Lord O'Gray is a trailer three furlongs to go now and it's Heavenly Hayes still the one to catch from Twisted Earl by a neck 
Right off them is Surspun ready to pounce from third, and Henry Hayes ridden for more from fourth, and it's of their five lengths back. The others have to get going. Lord Earl Grey from the back of the pack is out there five deep in the red cap. They make the turn for home. Heavenly Hayes just off the inside, wanders a bit about the fourth path, then Twisted Earl outside of that. Surspun with every opportunity from the inside, and Lord Earl Grey has improved deep in the center of the track, and Rumlin Kyle has recovered after a bit of trouble on the turn, a 16th to go. Heavenly Hayes just in front, and Rumlin Rumblin' Kyle is rolling up on the inside. Here comes Rumblin' Kyle, Rumblin' Kyle up in time. Kevin Gomez double. Heavenly Hayes close third. It's Lord O'Grey and Sir Spud. And they're off. Tevere deep on the outside and classic influence down at the inside as they battle early for the lead. But Tevere is very quick and now clears off by two from classic influence. Then tap the stars in third. Lucky in Malibu racing in fourth position, followed by Tack Up, who is in fifth. And Misty on point is in sixth, improving a bit there. Only four from the front. Then Tribal Transit and Swizzle was up close early, but dropped back third to last. And Storm and Babe and Axe Capital trails round that turn. And is Tevere the one to catch Tevere? a half length from classic influence in second and misty on point ready to pounce with some run in third position misty on point trying to quick it up now from third in the meantime down to the fences tribal transit and lucky in malibu's way out in the center of the track they're coming through that final for a long and a half and it's tevere just holding on to lead from classic influence and misty on point is going now here's misty on point and lucky in malibu closing on the outside and tribal transit down to the rail and storm and babe coming home well on the far outside misty Misty on point, Misty on point from Tribal Transit, a storm and babe in that close photo there, and then Lucky in Malibu. Miles second wire of the second line. And they're off. 
good break there for Darcy Man's small batch, along with Dancing Rags on the outside and Dixie Rose. The inside is Tiquelita, is up close too. After that is Here Comes the Queen, is only four from the front, and Sneaky Betty's at the rail. They're all bunched up this group, another two and a half back, and it's Tigerette. And first on first is the laggard. Now with about six furlongs left to go on the mile journey, the inside it's Tiquelita, has got a half ahead in front from Darcy May in between horses and Dancing Rags on the outside. Sneaky Betty's in that pocket racing in fourth position. Here comes the queen, followed by Small Batch just off the inside. Tiger Red is at the rail as they head on for the far turn. Dixie Rose and Lest is first on first. Eight lengths will cover the men of the far turn. Tikalita getting pressure now from Dancing Rags on the outside. Tikalita's ahead in front. Dancing Rags, here comes the queen outside and Sneaky Betty's down to the fence, asks for a little more run. Darcy May under a drive, but dropping back then Tiger Red and next is Small Batch. Dixie Rose first on first at the rail. Top of the stretch for the long run home. Dancing Rags takes them on in from Tikilita in second. And it's four back and Sneaky Betty just at an even clip in third of the meantime. Dancing Rags. Dancing Rags for a long and a half to run. Opens up by two and a half under Tikilita. Then Sneaky Betty in third. Out in the middle of the track is Dixie Rose who overtakes fourth from Tiger Red in fifth. There's a 16th to go. And it is Dancing Rags coming home. Dancing Rags three lengths in front from Tikilita. And then Dixie Rose and Sneaky Sneaky Betty in Tigerette. And they're off. It twines slippery slope, and here's Raven Rush on the outside up to grab the lead. Tough Teddy's taken back now, and Penn Square in between horses with Pro Daddy onto the first turn run. And they're followed up now by approbation in between horses as in the inside loyalty spirit saves ground with an inside draw. And take a left is out three wide in the turn. They're followed by Korstorf in approbation. Now back third last position and Mama's Mark. And Sakara has lasted them all in 16 off a good pace up ahead. Slippery Slope. Slippery Slope leads the way three quarters of a length in front from Raven Rush. Five in advance. The Penn Square is just in third. It twy inside in fourth. Loyalty spirit. Here at fifth, they're followed by Tough Teddy, then Pro Daddy, and take a left, then Kostorfin on the inside as a dozen lengths on the front, and Sakara Approbation and Mama's Mark in the back. Heading over the far turn, not much change, still one, two, slippery slope and Raven Rush with three and a half furlongs left to run. It twas down to the inside there of Penn Square, and they're followed by Loyalty Spirit as asked for a full sprint home from fifth. Has seven to make up on slippery slope, just in behind that group is Pro Daddy, then Kostorfin to the inside. Tough Teddy and Mama's Mark are followed by Take a Left and Approbation and Sakara there into the stretch. Slippery slope under steady right-handed pressure tries to kick away with that lead from Raven Rush by three lengths. And Loyalty Spirit is charging way out of the center of the track is Kostorfin. Here comes Kostorfin on the far outside. Kostorfin running down Slippery Slope. Then Loyalty Spirit followed by Pro Daddy is running a big one too. Kostorfin for his voice. Kostorfin to take it. Kostorfin Pro Daddy. Then Loyalty Spirit. Slippery Slope, Mama's Mark.
and they're rough. Becky Kecky and Sally Pollock high with Sky High Honey in third. Then it's Convoyary in between horses. Little Kitten up there close to. And last is Dumpster Diva. Becky Kecky makes the pace and Becky Kecky kicks away to an easy lead. About two lengths in front from Sally Pollock high. And Little Kitten is up close third position and Convoyary races fourth. Then Sky High Honey and Dumpster Diva is last. Only six lengths from first to last with five eighths of a mile to go. So it's an easy run up front for Becky Kecky. Becky Kecky and Carrasco slowing it right down from Sally Palakai is moving closer to that slow pace and Little Kitten is three lengths off the lead. Convoyari out in the clear in fourth, then Dumpster Diva and Sky High Honey. Around that far turn, Sally Palakai gets it head in front. Sally Palakai takes over from Becky Kecky, three furlongs to run. Convoyari is third, then Little Kitten working harder from fourth, then it's back to Dumpster Diva and Sky High Honey. They're at the top of the stretch and it's Sally Palakai strictly the one to catch now is a three-length lead on Convoyary and Little Kitten well off the rail. Becky Kecky's dropped back to fourth. They're into the stretch and straightened on for home. Sally Palakai and Camacho going to work right-handed and here's Little Kitten out in the center of the track bridging the gap. Little Kitten charging hard on the outside at Sally Palakai at the 16th pole. Sally Palakai and Little Kitten Toledo and Little Kitten. Little Kitten wins it by a length from Sally Palakai. Then Dumpster Diva. Convoyary, Becky Kecky. Time was 127.50. And they are off. Setting out of the lead is Frasero and Yes I See with Capital Fellow racing up to the inside and Ocala Jim is close to. And Music Critic at the inside is next and they're followed by Hard to Thunder. And next after that is Lieutenant Dale. Young Dude racing back their third last position early and Air Geed and the last horse is I'm the Big Man as they round that first turn. Capital Fellow going solo up front about a length and a quarter. Ocala Jim keeping close tabs in second. Yes, I see his third and Hard Thunder out in the clear in fourth and Music Critic grading along fifth spot, followed by Frasero in between horses, then Lieutenant Dale out there in the three path. Another two and a half more and it's Young Dude and Air Geed and last is I'm the Big Man still. Not much change and a steady pace up front for Capital Fellow and Fergal Lynch leading it a length and a half. Ocala Jim is second and yes, I see just third and Hard Thunder working a bit harder there from fourth. Here's Lieutenant Dale trying to pick up on the outside and Music Critic hits up the rail. Then for Cerro, Young Dude still has about eight to make up at this point and I am the big man and Air Geed is last now. Capital Fellow with Ocala Jim making a full run at that leader as they're midway on the final turn and here comes Ocala Jim on the outside of Capital Fellow who's trying to dig down. It's three back and Yes I See is in third. They're followed by Music Critic driving hard in fourth and Lieutenant Dale to the far outside into the stretch for a long and a half left to run. And Ocala Jim on the outside and Capital Fellow in a stretch battle through the final furlong. Capital Fellow, Ocala Jim on the outside, Ocala Jim, Capital Fellow resurgent under Fergal Lynch, Sheldon Russell on the outside, Ocala Jim, photo finish, get the camera ready, it could be Capital Fellow uh, or Ocala Jim, maybe Ocala Jim from Capital Fellow, it's close third, yes I see was coming there, music critic, very close up and down.
lined up. Second wire finish. And they're off. Summer Frock was first away. The inside is Southern Peach. And so Southern Peach and Summer Frock hooking up from Dancing Lucy. Sippy Cup is also right there. And the outside is Limited Edition flashing up now into the fourth spot with speed. Dare to be is fact fifth of the inside as they round that turn. Here's Table Jumper next and Sazerac Girl on the far outside. Six tons of fun is one off the rail. Sippy Cup is at the fence. They're followed by She Rolls who's out three deep in the clear. Nimble foot to the back of the pack now with Fly Girl who is last of them all. Top of the stretch turning for home and it's Dancing Lucy and Summer Frock to the inside in a head-to-head -head battle. Dare to Bees trying to quicken on them from third and Southern Peaches next and fourth. There's three sixteens to go. Summer Frock battles on the inside with Dancing Lucy on the outside. Dancing Lucy, Summer Frock to the inside. Summer Frock, Dancing Lucy, Dancing Lucy, Summer Frock. Nose to nose, head-to-head. -head. Photo finish again. Summer Frock, Dancing Lucy, Summer Frock, Dancing Lucy. You call it the second wire. Maybe Dancing Lucy from Summer Frock. Can't tell from here. Wind up, and they're off. Tis a doozy and Candy Sue firing out first. This should be sassy etiquette up there now in the third position. And Alexandrite's got some early foot. Tis our time is on the march now. Tis our time tugs along strongly, takes that third spot etiquette back fourth and watches that duel go on up front. Alexandrite is now in fifth and Saturday's reign is in sixth. She be sassy's dropped back to seventh and Majestic Pick and Borino will be three wide out of the turn in between horses and Giggles in the back. Around that far turn, eight or nine lengths from first to last. Candy Sue's got the head in front from Tiz Our Time on the outside. There that battle up ahead. Etiquette fully ridden from third position and Saturday's reign. The others have some running to do now. Barino tries to pick up off the inside at the top of the lane and giggles on the outside of Barino. They make the turn for home and Tiz Our Time is the leader from Etiquette on the outside and Etiquette's got the full head of steam to take the lead right there for a long and a half left to go from Tiz Our Time. Candy Sue and then Saturday's reign and that last furlong, it's all etiquette from here in Fergal Lynch. Etiquette driving and pulling away. Five, six, almost seven at the end. It's etiquette. Etiquette. Strong to win going away from Tis Our Time. Saturday's Rain Candy, Sue and Barino. One eleven point.
They are in line and they are off. Jet Majesty first to break away with Moon Virginia to the outside. Enchanted Party and Channel Regatta back at the rail. Then followed by a rain is up on the outside in mid-pack early. Enchanted Party now taken back off at pace. They're followed by Peace Prize and Stay the Night is worked over to save ground into the first turn run. And Miss Atomic Bomb is last of them all and eight off the lead of Jet Majesty and Heavy on Toledo. Jet Majesty just going an easy pace, a length and a half in front now from Moon Virginia second and Channel Regatta is in third position and a rain alongside of that in fourth. Here is Enchanted Party who's in fifth. They're followed by Stay the Night, one off the inside and they're followed by Peace Prize, dropped to second last position and Miss Atomic Bomb trailing the field. Looks like an easy steady pace up front with about five furlongs left to go for Jet Majesty. Jet Majesty from Moon Virginia still a length in front. Channel Regatta, rain is in fourth. Enchanted Party and Stay the Night they've got six to make up at this point. Here is Miss Atomic Bomb to the back of the pack still and Peace Prize last. Into the far turn, not much change. Jet Majesty, Moon Virginia still one, two, and Channel Regatta's in third, then a rain is in fourth, Enchanted Party, and Stay the Night, Miss Atomic Bomb, Peace Prize, top of the stretch. Jet Majesty trying to carry that speed for another quarter of a mile. Jet Majesty hustle along and kicks away by two lengths from Moon Virginia. Channel Regatta on the inside, driving hard from third position. They're followed by Enchanted Party, just angling to the outside to try to grab second, but it's Jet Majesty and Heavy on Toledo slowed it right up, got plenty left. Jet Majesty, Jet Majesty, Channel Regatta, then Moon Virginia, and then Enchanted Party and Miss Atomic Bomb. And they're off. Cherished prize and moonshine mistress away in solid order. My vixen speeding up to take the lead and your wand pitching in on the far outside. Here is Crooked from the deep outside gate and snuck a little fun is down on the rail just three or four lengths on the front to the turn run. Charlotte's Hope now drops over to the rail and saving all that ground round that turn as they round the turn. As Charlotte's Hope now about six or seven lengths off the lead. Catch is followed by Sell a Peach and then home to Caro Keel and Shar Shar and rail stop is last. A dozen lengths will cover them as they race now with five furlongs left to go. My Vixen is up top. My Vixen trying to slow it up. Leads it up a length from your one in second. And Moonshine Mistress third to the inside. Cherish Prize out in the clear in fourth. And Snuck a little fun is fifth. Home to Caro Keel sixth. Crooked is racing seventh. Charlotte's Hope stole down inside there. Eighth position. They're followed by Catch who's trying to punch through in between horses fully ridden. Another three back and it's Char Char still lingering about 10 lengths off that leader into the far turn. And it is still My Vixen, three furlongs out. My Vixen, the one to catch. You're one. Then it's Moonshine Mistress to the inside. Snuck a little fun is fourth. Home to Caro Keel is in fifth. It's two more lengths and Cherish Prize. And Charlotte's Hope still on the inside. Top of the stretch, they make the turn in. My Vixen's trying to carry on with it. You're one attacks on the outside and snuck a little fun. Third in charging center of the course. Moonshine Mistress is fourth. They've got a furlong left to go. Year one, my vixen snuck a little fun on the outside. Year one snuck a little fun, my vixen. It's going to be year one, Fergal Lynch. Year one, year one, year one to win it. Year one, a length and a half. Snuck a little fun. Then my vixen, moonshine mistress, crooked or cherished prize.
That's a wrap on our 11 race program on Saturday afternoon. Join us again Sunday post time at 110 here at Laurel Park. Join us for our Sunday brunch from noon to four in the Garden Terrace, first floor of the clubhouse. And that uh, brunch also available to Tips and Tycoons customers as well here at Laurel Park. Also our $5,000 Players Challenge on Sunday afternoon. You have to be a premier player club member for that. And dates to mark on your calendar coming up later in September. We have the Commonwealth day here at Laurel Park September 24th with eight turf races many of them graded also Jim McKay Maryland Million Day in October fall is here October 22nd Jim McKay Maryland Million Day make plans to be here at Laurel Park Friday Saturday and Sunday post time at 110